Hi, and welcome to the Food of France. Today we'll be cooking a famous French dish, which um, many of you might know, but you're probably not familiar with the name. The name is called Coque Monsieur, and here are the dishes, uh, the ingredients that we'll be using today. We have cheeses and ham. So as you can see, it's very similar to a ham and cheese sandwich. Now, what we're going to do first is we'll take this butter and we'll melt it on the saucepan. Alright, now what we're going to do here is add a bit of that butter, turn on the saucepan, and melt that butter. So, we're going to melt this butter so it reaches a nice liquid. Um, the important thing about butter is not to overcook it because if you overcook butter, it gets bitter. And that's the last thing we want because what we're going to be having with this sauce is a Dijon mustard. And that already has a bitter flavor to it, so you don't want more of that. Now we'll go and we'll grab some more, some more flour. We'll add that in. Mix it all together so it's nicely to a very thin sauce. Make sure to turn your heat on low because you don't want to cook it, you just want to mix it together with a nice warm butter. And you don't want it to get a brown color either. So we'll have that there. And now, what we'll do. We'll add a bit of the milk and the Dijon mustard. Now when you add the milk, so here we have our flour and butter, and we're going to whisk in the milk. Whisking constantly so it all mixes together. We don't want it, the butter and the flour to become piecey. There we go. Mix this together. We don't want it's the butter and the flour to become piecey. There we go. Like that. And now we'll add a bit of the mustard. device. Now it says to add half a teaspoon, but I like to add a little bit more mustard, get a little bit more flavor. So what I'm going to do is I'll add. And keep on whisking. There we go. Now we'll let this simmer so that it reduces and it becomes a nice thick sauce. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to separate the egg yolk from the egg whites. And I don't know if many of you know how to do that. It can be a tricky thing because you don't want to mix any whites with a yolk and you especially don't want any shells. So I'll show you an easy way. What you can do is first you crack it, get a nice little indent there so that you can place your two fingers in there and get it evenly in two. And make sure you keep it upward so that the egg yolk stays in there. Now you can do a little juggling with the eggs. Have a little fun. So what we'll do is we'll place that slowly inside. Make sure not to crack the yolk because you don't want to get it all runny. And then you do it a couple times until you see that most of the whites are out from the yolk. And after you see that that is done, you can place it here. And you can save the egg whites for another dish. There's plenty of dishes that just call for egg whites. And actually, the egg whites is the healthier part of the egg and so you can make a little scrambled egg out of egg whites. You can do that, save that for the morning. And so we'll set that aside. Alright, as you can see it's simmered and it's gotten a nice texture. As you can see it's very nice and thick. So what we'll do is we'll move that off the fire. And now this is when we add in the yolk. We add it now because we don't want it to cook with the sauce. I just wanted to fully integrate it, so we'll whisk as we add that in. Get it nicely incorporated inside, like that. Now this gets a nice yellow color, as you can see. Yolk is very nice for adding some 
rich coloring. And now that's off of fire, we'll add our seasonings as well. We'll be using salt, of course. So we'll add in a dash of salt, add a little bit of pepper, a little bit of a kick. There we go. And today's spice will be nutmeg. Now you don't want to use much nutmeg because uh, it's a very surprisingly very sharp taste to it. So we're going to add just a little bit of that. And we'll whisk that all nicely together. There we go. It's looking quite nice already. This is going to be a perfect sauce for our pork misu. So we'll mix that nicely and we'll set it off the side to cool completely. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're grate a little bit more of our cheese. Now today's cheese that we're using today is a Gouya cheese. This is considered a hard mountain cheese. Um, and so it has a very thick rind. Um, the rind in cheeses vary due to the different times that they are aged. So we'll take that off because it's not enjoyable. Um, and we'll take our grater and we'll grate a little bit more of that onto our already mixture we have. So we'll continue grating this. And um, that looks like a fine amount. We'll set that off to the side. Um, the mountain cheeses have a very nutty, fruity flavor um, due to what the cows eat. Um, every spring, the farmers, they go up to the French Alps, the Alpages, and um, they let the cows stay there for all the spring and summer, and they eat um, flowers and herbs, which gives that rich flavor to the milk. And uh, well, then they make really delicious cheeses out of that. Um, that's what France is best known for, its cheeses and wines, of course. And um, so what we have here is the Gouya cheese. We're going to take a little tray over right here. And we're going to set out our bread today. What we chose is uh, white Italian bread. And we're going to take four slices of that. We'll just lay them out nicely here. And first what we're going to do is we're going to put some ham. Now, when I put the ham on it, I like to add a little bit of volume so that the sandwich looks a little, a little fuller. People like to know that they're eating, you know, a nice amount, so we want to give them that satisfaction. And uh, we'll have that there, and then we'll add a bit of the sauce, which we just made, and we let cool down a little bit. As you can see, it's a nice, thick texture now lots of good flavoring. And so we'll add that. Just nicely pour it on top here, on top of our ham, and get it nicely and evenly spread so that every bite is filled with deliciousness. And um, here is something that's not in the recipe, but it's something that I like to do. I'll add a little bit of mozzarella cheese to that because uh, the Gruyere cheese is a very strong cheese, so I like to even it out with a little mozzarella, and uh, we'll put a little bit of Gruyere cheese on top of that, and um, place the other half on top, and then we'll go cook it on the stove, so you can follow me there. So we'll add a bit of our butter to our so nice sautéing pan here, let it melt nicely so that it gives a good coloring to the bread. We want to get a rich golden color. Butter, let it melt nicely here in our saucepan. Make sure the heat is nice and high. So now we have that. We have here our ham and cheese sandwiches that we prepared. So we'll grab that and place it on here. And what we'll do is we'll cook it on both sides and um, let it get a nice color and let the cheese melt so that when you cut it in half you have that rich cheese spilling out. It looks absolutely delicious and um, it's a great dish to have with a bunch of friends and family and just enjoy it together 
because it's very simple, but it has a bit of a you know kick to it, so that it gives it that Frenchness that we all adore. As you can see, it's gotten a nice color on both sides, so we'll just take that off the pan, place it on the plate we have set out here. All right, so what we'll do is we'll cut that in half right through the center, and show the nice cheeses and sauce we have in there. And there you go. That's all there's to it. You can serve it with some greens and radishes. What I like to do is serve it with some tomatoes as well. Just be creative with that because it's just a nice sandwich. It's a little flavoring. You can put anything with that. So there we have a coque monsieur. Thank you for joining me in the food of France. I hope to see you next time. Bon appétit.